So, Sister Helen, welcome to TV3 Talk Show. Thank you, my brother. Thank I'd like to go straight to the point. Are you a member of uh, MOP or besides MOPO? And what does that really mean? Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Um, I was a member of MOPO. Um, MOPO means Ministry of Power and Ordinance, as I was made to know. I can see you are struggling to check your money. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. One can I uh, anticipate that market was good for you? <laughs> it's business for you. At times they are good, at times they are bad. But I thank God is good. Yeah, we thank God, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, Helen, I've come to tell you something. Ah, uh, is everything okay? You see, there is something going on in this market that you should know. What is it? I want to lodge a complaint about Ijoma. Which Ijoma? Our own Ijoma? Exactly, our own Ijoma. What happened? For over four months, Ijoma came to my shop and credited my goods and promised to pay once she sold the whole goods. Okay. And for the past two months, Ijoma has sold all the goods in her shop, including mine. And she has refused to give me my money. Is it good? Why? My dear, that I don't know. That is why I have come to you as the head of the market women to please help me talk to Ijoma. My shop is barren, very empty. I can't even place for goods. Please, I beg you, help me talk to her. It's okay. Hmm? What you did for her is a good thing. And she will pay you back. But, but you see, in this world, especially in this, our country, it's not the mouth they come to beg with that they will use to pay you back. Honestly. But in this case, leave it for me. Hmm? I am the market leader, the woman market leader of this market. It is my responsibility to make sure that business move fairly and payments are balanced hmm? so that people pay for their goods so they can get other ones. Oh. That is my responsibility. Don't worry, don't worry. Leave it all for me. I well, promise you I'll work on it. Okay? Um, thank you so much. It's okay. I'm so grateful that at least you've promised to help me out. Trust me. I trust you. I know you can do that. <laughs> Ah, my children. Everybody is fine, my dear.
Thank you, darling. How are you? Hmm. Hey, Mom, like I see, you brought us some food this afternoon. Yeah. Have you forgotten that your mom here told you if you can work very hard and stay away from trouble? I'll buy you whatever you want. As a promise, I intend to keep. Mm. Yeah, that's my mom. Mm -hmm. And these are my angels. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're doing your homework already. Yeah, that's my mom. Okay, I'm so tired. Mom, guess what we learned at school today? You know, at times you think I'm in the same class with you. What is it? You know I'm not good in guessing. Mom, it's not a special. Just because she read about Oliver Twist, she wanted to know invest in this house. Oliver Twist? The one that normally asks for more. He's a foodie and no one asks for more. Just like Prince, my brother. Better watch your list before I... Uh -uh. You should stop this career. Okay, let me go and prepare something special. For lunch. Something like what? That's one surprise that you find out when I am done. You go about the market telling lies about me. How dare you? Child. So it is true that madness runs in your lineage. Aye. That's why I can see one running in your head now. Uh, me mad? Yes. It is your mother and your entire generation that are mad. Jealousy woman. Because oh, because I bought a car. You now want to donate me to your witchy clothes. Ne. My wado, my <laughs> Look at this foolish thing. Butterfly that calls herself a bird. When I bought my first car, you were still busy prostituting along the streets. Why are both of you washing your dirty linen in public? Or again? Can any of you tell me what is going on here? You would rather ask this imbecile here. Chioma. What is it? Child lady, you will not understand. Is it not this imbecile that calls herself a thing? You are rather the imbecile. And Kaliwa. You, you, you can both of you shut up. I don't know your shut story. Shut up! What was everything about? Oh, you started it. Shut, 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 shut up! Sorry, ma. Child lady, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you can't respect my presence here? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, Okay. There's no problem. But you leave me with no option than to lock up your shops so you can continue fighting and bullying bullying in the market. Matured women like you. No problem. Just wait. Where are these? Wait, just wait. Have you seen what you've caused? Uh, have you seen it? Hey, it's not you, have you, have you have mouth. See, I have only one. I'm off your case. Chioma. Chris, I've heard your stories. I thank you so much for honoring my call. That means there's no need I trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> what you ladies should understand is that where there is buying and selling, wherever buying and selling transpires, there are bound to be quarrels, especially when women are involved. But our ability to carry each other along and compromise a little bit is what makes us different from the women in, in the community. I've always known both of you to be good friends. So I beg you, whatever it is that caused that fight shouldn't happen again. Forgive each other and carry each other along. <laughs> There's this saying that once, once friends are, are, are always friends, and I've known both of you to be good friends. Come on. Sister Grace, I want you to forgive Sister Choma. Sister Choma, I want you to forgive Grace. Whatever it is, you should forgive each other. Hmm? United we stand. And divided we fall. And the enemy will invade us. Um, <laughs> Helen. You know I don't take things to me. Choma here is my very good friend and she will always be my friend. Oh, Choma, forgive me please. 
I'm forgiving you, okay? <laughs> Forgive and forget. <laughs> Chair lady, you will not understand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what good son deserves another. Hmm? Likewise, one good apology to us for this and that. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to wear us like a line. Charlie, Charlie. Eh? Come on, all right, we're going to wear us like a line. Ah, this is, I love this. This is nice. You see? You see how, how, you see how lovely it is? Ebuchia! Mm, oh, chair! United we stand. Oye jiki jiki fe. Thank you so, so much. I, I, I got to the pure water. Mbano. <laughs> I'm going to open your shop, okay? No more quarrel. Always talk about it. Um, so, are you saying that because your son got drowned in the river, that you have nothing to do with water again? Not exactly. It's okay. Then you must find yourself another man. You are not getting any younger. A good woman is not supposed to be by herself alone. Hmm? You need a man in your life. Especially to take care of the kids and the business, if possible. Mama Chibola, I know. And I'm praying about it. Honestly, I know that God will soon give me the kind of man that I want. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm praying. Ah! A memo, a mem. Um, um, my dear, before I forget, do you know IJ came to pay me off today? Really? Honestly. Thank God. <laughs> I told you to be patient. Honestly, oh, you did. Yeah? Um, so tell me, how did you manage? I mean, how did you do it? I mean, the tricks that you used to oh, make Agi me this morning. <laughs> me, tricks. Come on, don't say that. See, I am gifted when it comes to negotiating business. Mm -hmm. you know? I can make a mad woman and a normal person live in the same house. You can say that. For <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. You know? <laughs> wow, thank Ooh. God. Honestly, eh? I know how long I've suffered to get this money. Wait. Thank God. <laughs> this is the kind of news I want to have every day. <laughs> Please. This is my little token of appreciation. At least all the stress that you took to get this money for me. I thank you so much. Are you paying tithes to the church or something? I am not paying any tithes. So why should you give me money because I did my job? It's my responsibility to make sure that we have peace under the balance of payments. What she did is to pay you back for what you gave to her. It's I my know. job. I, I know, know but I insist you must have it. I Please. am not a poor woman. I am a rich woman. <laughs> <laughs> you will job. never, never change. Why would I change? <laughs> Oh, Keep no. it for the children, please. You mean I should have back my money, eh? Of course. Okay, thank you. Oh, so I should much. borrow you. <laughs> That's it. Um, I welcome you all. I call this uh, uh, meeting. I only call the executive to this meeting because of its importance, especially when it concerns the workers. We all have heard what Sister Shoma said. And I think she said our mind. Oh, does anybody have anything contrary to say? Yeah. I agree with Sister Chioma that having our road done will be in the interest of our business. Anytime we have a heavy damp up, our business suffers. And we train to be the losers. <coughs> in that case, I would suggest we increase our money to 10,000 Naira each. Instead of the initial 5,000 naira that we've been paying. No. Mm -hmm. I disagree mm -hmm. with what Mama said. Uh -uh. Just because some people have excess money does not mean everybody has. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I still suggest we stick to the initial plan of 5,000 naira each. Yes. yes. Grace, it's not because some people have excess money that we are suggesting we pay 10,000. Okay. Oh. Instead of the initial 5,000 we discussed. Hey. But, eh? the problem is that we have estimated the costs involved in our project.
And we have realized that 5,000 each will not complete the work as fast as we want it done. Exactly. And remember, also, we are approaching the rainy season. You can imagine what will happen if the rain comes. Uh, it's okay. In, uh, in that case, let's put it to vote. Yes. Those that want us to continue with 5,000 naira should indicate the raising of their hands. Yes. Okay. But uh, there is no need to uh, count because the majority are on 5,000. So be it. Well, um, please, uh, we should pass it over to the other members of this uh, union when you reach your shops. So, I think we shall join this meeting at this point. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. Are you coming for the crusade? Ah, no, no, not really. I was just passing by and uh, and saw this large crowd. What is, what are all these people doing here? Well, we are members of a large Christian family and we are known as MOPO, which is an abbreviation of Ministry of Power and Ordinance. As MOPO? Yes, MOPO, M-O-P-O. We normally have a crusade like this at the end of every month. Yeah. Madam, you can have this for more people. Huh. The crowd is too much. Yeah. In that, in that, bit, in that catalog is everything you need to know about us. Okay. But in the meantime, uh, I invite you to fellowship with us tonight at this crusade and observe for yourself the blind, seeing, huh? the deaf, hearing, here. Yeah. Yes, tonight. And even the crippled have been given a chance to walk again in their lives. Hi. Madam. Helen. Madam. All this thing you said will happen here. All this thing will happen here tonight. Our God is a very powerful and merciful God. I, I am, can I go with you? You now? can call me, brother David. You are very much welcome here. Just join the crowd. I'm sure that by morning you see you have so many reasons. The to blind will see. The crowd. Yeah, the blind. Even the cripple will walk. I can I just open it?
Great and mighty things will happen today. Oh yes! This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. If you believe, can you shout the louder hallelujah? Hallelujah! Shout the louder hallelujah! Tired. What is the matter? Okay, okay, okay. So now tell me, who was that man that hanged you out last night? A man mm. that hanged me out. What about you? It was the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. You said our Lord Jesus. Hmm. Where did you see our Lord Jesus? I went to a crusade yesterday night. Hmm. Have you heard of uh, Prophet Moses? Prophet Moses. Uh, the owner of that ministry they call uh, Power and Ordinance. Moses. No. Ah, you need to. Anyway, you know I'm not the type that I believe so much in miracles. The earlier you begin to believe in miracles, the better. My eyes saw marvelous things yesterday night. Ah! The blind, the blind that you and I know, began to see. The deaf hear. The cripple stood up like this and began to walk. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. You know, there's a difference between you saw or you no, heard. No, 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 no. You saw with your eyes. I went to that crusade. You see that man called Prophet Moses? Is a man sent by God to deliver people from afflictions Hi. and perform miracles. How you need to have seen it. Heaven is real. It's okay. So tell me, what have you now decided? What I've decided? Mm. I'm following Christ for full time. In fact, I'm starting full service with them on Sunday. My eyes saw things. Hmm. It's better for you, Sha. It's better you go and see things for yourself. Mm. Then if it is good, oh, trust me now. I will join you. Oh, you sit and wait until it is good. You come and join me. And you first can see now. Then I will join you later. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, oh. Because I didn't tell you. Hi! Miracles. Signs and wonders. Anybody will praise God. The more money in your pocket in Jesus' name. We go yeah, 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 look. Who's the person in front? Please don't waste our time. God's time is not cheap. Please, God's time is not cheap. Where's the man on the keyboard?
until the Lord called. Samuel was sons and pastors. And he asked Jesse, Are these all your children? And Jesse said, Yes, but, but what? Samuel asked. There's one little one who's tending the sheep in the field. And then Samuel said, Said, Oh, glory to God. The Bible said, As soon as David, as soon as David stepped into the house, the Holy Spirit filled the entire place. that came upon me as you can see me now I am hell and healthy Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Sisterhood. You see, as I was ministering this afternoon, the Holy Spirit spoke to me concerning you. The Holy Spirit told me that He wants to use you as one of His disciples. The Holy Spirit told me He wants to use you as a fisher of man. The Holy Spirit said to me that He wants to use you to win souls unto God's kingdom. The Holy Spirit told me that He wants to use you to attract great men and women into His fold. And you see, that was before you gave your, before we, the church officially met you. When you now said that you were a woman leader in the market, I said, glory be to God. It was just a confirmation of what the Spirit was ministering to me. Because as a woman leader, it is now, it will be left to you to use your position, the woo, your colleagues to God. And because I know, I also know that you have contacts. You are going to use your position to attract great men and women into the church. Amen? Amen? And then he also told me that he's going to fulfill this according to that purpose. Amen? He's going to do it. And then one more thing, um, Sister Henry. It is a tradition in this church that we don't uh, wear jewels. You know, because we see this is a, as worldly things. You know, we, 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 we adhere strictly to the word here. So it's going to help us in some if you stop wearing all those. You know. Amen? You know, let me In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, whatever purpose you have for your daughter, that 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 brought her here, for the baby fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, like you ministered unto my spirit, that you shall use her, you shall use her to attract men and women from all over, from all white walks of life. Father, may you, may you fulfill that in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Let her be a fisher of men. Mm -hmm. Let her be a fisher of men. Mm -hmm. Let your spirit come upon her right now as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You are blessed. Thank you, sir. Come and take this oh. Thank you. Check on you at the other side. Your sense get told you that you are on this other side. I came out here so that I can check this other shop. Left my line. <laughs> That's good. Nim, you been scars these days. Always out of network coverage. Hey. What is the problem? 24 hours is not enough for my church. Uh -huh. 24 hours is too small for me. Anyway. Yesterday I was at your shop and your first girl told me you went for a prayer meeting. Uh, you know I go every day these days. And the uh, prophet Moses told me that the Lord is here to me. That I should be a, an active member of the church. Mm, uh, that's good though. I'll begin to put souls for the Lord. I'll be a soul with you. That's good my dear. It's, it's a good teacher. To them. Yeah. That's good for you my dear. <laughs> So, what can you do with all these queries? They are distractions. I want to get rid of them. Distracting? 
Yeah. Okay, maybe I can help you get it. No! No! Amma Jibo, don't be angry. If I allow you to take this, that means I, I, I'm distracting you from, from, from the word of God. And the Lord will be so angry with me. And the Lord will be angry with me. Don't it's be angry. It's okay, it's yeah. okay, it's okay. I'll fight you. I will think about it, eh? I just came to check on you. Please, give your life to I will think about, about it. it. I'm beginning to suspect Helen is using something. She's using juju. I wonder why all the customers are rushing into her shop. Why we all are selling the same thing? My dear, what do you expect? Oh, wow, oh, very nice. I can't wait, I can't wait. Just give her the money. Give me. Okay, just I was the first person that came here. Yeah. I can't wait. Please, come and take me. Please, come and take me. 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 Come Judging from the tweets I'm getting here from the viewers, they would like to know, um, are there reasons why you choose to abandon MOPO? Oh, my brother, God bless you. Thank you. Viewers out there, I am here to tell you the truth about MOPO. I want you to listen to the voice of salvation. You see, these are end times. I want you to be careful of the prophets that you follow. Because so many of them come in the, in, the, in the image or in the likeness of angels from heaven. While they are demons sent from the pit of hell to come and manipulate and deceive innocent ones in this world. To manipulate young Christians, to manipulate the, 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 the chosen ones of God. They are only here to destroy souls. M-O-P-O -O is a, a tabernacle of demons. I'm here to tell you is a ministry where Lucifer himself is the chief and demons are all around him. I was a strong member of MOPO. I'm, I'm one of the founders of that church. In fact, I am the one that introduced the, the apron they wear today. I was busy moving around, winning souls for the Lord with all my heart, following the Bible, winning souls for Christ. But I never knew that I was winning souls for the Lord. The way that you are the light, who never comes to you, never so far. It's all the way that you are the light, who never comes to you, never so far. God bless you, my sister. Hmm? <sighs> Give your life to Christ, eh? And be saved. Give your life to Christ. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus is the way, hmm? the truth, and the life. Who's ever come to Him will not suffer. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Who's ever come to Him will never suffer. 
suffer. Give your life to Christ, for the kingdom of God is at hand. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose your soul? What shall it profit a man? Give your life to Christ, eh? God love you. Oh, God love you. God love you. God love you. Who's ever come to him will never suffer. Mikael, don't fall at this corner. If Mikael is gone, make me come at it. Die! This man, die. Don't die already now. Get out, get out. Wait till they talk, Mikael don't go. Okay, if Mikael is gone. No, they follow, no, they follow person will not get silly for how they argue. Okay, if Mikael is gone. Now, what you put in school against? Against sunshine. Sunshine. My life, the only time why I just said Mikael is gone against Wally Wolves. Hey, see, 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 what shall it profit a man if he lose? I have no way to have for people. God bless you. God bless you. Bless us. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, you are blessed, brother. It shall be well with you. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose your soul? For the Bible says that all things are lawful, but they are not adventurous. Jesus is coming very soon. Oh, Jesus is away. Oh, no, no, no. These are material things. Cannot things that would not allow you to make heaven. Stop like this guy, they give our cigar. The cigar, they give this woman. He is the Christ. He is the Christ. He is the Christ. He is the Christ. Half of this guy, you. Repent and give your life to Christ. My brother, you don't know what I'm saying. Hold this thing and have a look at it. Have a look at it. Have a look at it. Oh, God bless you. Jesus is Lord. I reject the spirit of alcohol in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand against every spirit that wants to destroy the word of God. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the only living God. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. For you are Lord. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose it? So nothing, nothing. It will not profit anything. Jesus, away. They said you go. See, madam. You not profit anything. If they said you go, then they say you not see go again. If she as she talk, if she follow the argument, she go there more. But if you leave, she go. See, I tell him. The only man you are not said there are more than one. When they play, who I see go go now? Massive against sunshine star. What you what you what you chop today? What comedy? Eat Jones, eat Jones, you go. What you chop today? Eat Jones, you go. Guy. You know they watch ball. Why you they talk? Where people where they watch ball? I go they watch ball. See your dear dear. Muta you, baby. Oh, give your life to Christ and be saved for the coming of Christ. The Bible says, 
Many are called, but a few are chosen. I recall when Sister Helen first came to the church, when she first visited us, the Holy Spirit ministered to me that she's going to be the whistleblower of this ministry. That she's going to be the trailblazer in this church. That the Holy Spirit itself is going to use that mightily to attract people into this church. And as you can see, everything is playing out exactly the same way the administration came. We are all witnesses to what she has done and what she's still doing. She's been attracting and winning souls unto us. She's brought in the high and the mighty. She has introduced a whole lot of things. For instance, look at this apron. This apron has been a means of evangelism. And it has won a lot of souls for us. And a whole lot of other things she brought into the church, introduced to the church. It has helped the church grow. So at the backdrop of this, um, I'm thinking, that's why I'm throwing it over to all of us here, that um, the Holy Spirit ministered to me. And I'm throwing it open that she it's time for her to, up, to be up, uplifted. So I'm thinking we should um, appoint her the church's women leader. I don't know what you think. Because uh, with that position, you know, she's going to do even more. No, we encourage her. So we're all in agreement. Yes, yes, yes prophet. Responsibilities as a market share lady. Ask me. The last time I tried to discuss it, she told me that it is far better to be a slave for the church than the market. And as I can't go for you, it's cheeky for a yana or by a one. Because many for the real, 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 many she has to step down from her position so we can select somebody that will be dedicated and concerned about the things of the market. Unlike her that is always busy. There will be a general meeting this weekend concerning that issue. I believe we will discuss a way forward. Hope you are not interested in that post. If we so I I am dead interested. Hey! I agree, Jeffrey! Who doesn't like posts? Nah, eh. Anything, I'm not going What baffles me is that she no more dresses elegant and attractive as before. She has even stopped putting on dress. All in the name of church business. Who are we to talk much? Let the dead bury the dead. In on point. Maybe go when dinner is short. In on point. Can you laugh? I saw them move them. Can you move? I saw them. My fellow women, I thank you so much. 
for coming for this meeting. Hmm? Thank you. God bless you. Bless you too. Okay. I know that my absence in the market has caused a lot of doubt in your mind. I'm so sorry about that. I know that most of you are beginning to think that I'm no longer active in the things of the association. That is not true. I am fully involved in the association because I have been praying day and night for this our association and I know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth will make us overcome in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Um, I was told that uh, our election is fast approaching in fact I know that is fast approaching um, but my fellow women I want to use this opportunity to inform you that I will not be standing again. I am sorry about that. <coughs> uh, but before then, I would like to say something to us. I want to beg you to give yourselves in the things of God. Get yourself involved in the things of God. Give your lives to Christ. Commit everything concerning you to Christ so that he will carry your problem. It's not supposed to be your problem. It's the Lord's problem. Allow him to carry it for you. My Bible says, what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and loses your soul? Don't forget the story of the rich man in the Bible that acquired all the wealth and suddenly one morning he died. He didn't go to heaven with any of them. He left them all here. He went to heaven empty-handed. So what will it profit you that you struggle every day, will get all this money, will get all the name and all the class, and we, and we lose heaven? What will it profit you? So I am begging you to submit yourselves in the things of the Lord. Allow the Lord to take care of your problems. Allow Him to take care of your shop, and you will see the manifestation of the Lord. If you want to see the truth and the prosperity of the Lord, why not follow me to our ministry? M-O-P-O -O is where things begin to happen in a way that you will never believe. That is a ministry where the truth is being said. Prosperity, blessings, breakthroughs. You see the Lord in full manifestation of who he is. So I will encourage you all today to follow me to my ministry and you will see the power of God in your life and how God will continue to take care of your children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you so much for listening to what I said. So if any of you have any question, feel free to ask me. I will answer you. Uh, yes, my sister. What is M-O-P-O? Mopo. M-O-P-O. Mopo for Christ. In one way. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. In one way, yes. But is the ministry of power and ordinance. We are the power of God come into full manifestation. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah, that is Jesus for you. That is where you see the power of God walk. Oh, God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Chia, 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 no, 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 wait, chia. Chia, chia, kai kwenna. Praise the Lord. Chia, chia. Chia, eh, you know, we are friends. We all started this trading business together. Hmm? But, chia, I am finding it very difficult to sell the goods in my shop. Whereas you are making a massive sale. How did you do that magic? Did you say magic? Uh -huh. I didn't do any magic. What you're seeing in my shop is the power of the God of M-O-P-O. -O. You know, when you give your life to Christ, you will begin to see what the Lord can do for you. You know, my Bible says, if a way of a man pleases God, he will be like a tree planted by the riverside that brings forth fruit at its own season. What you're seeing there is the work of God. No magic or anything. It's the power of the God of Emotio. Chia. <laughs> chia, chia. Chia, I understand. Eh? I understand. 
I am a Christian. Praise the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. I also go to church every Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. I do pray for my business and family as mm. well. But she can go in Zoku. I am yet to experience that miracle. It's me. Sister Chioma. Come on. Why not follow me to my church? And see the signs and wonders. The power of the God of MOPO. Why not come to my church and allow the God of MOPO show you the true color of this God in heaven? Praise the Lord. Just follow me and see what I'm saying. Where are you going? MOPO. I want to see that. Are you What are you saying about the blouse? No, madam, how about this one? Can this go with the other one? Yes, it can go with this one because it has purple. Okay. That's so it. how much is the two of them? I'll give you this two, last 12,000. 12,000? Yes. How much is the two of them? For 6,000? No, 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 it can't go. How See, this is the first is uh, four five. This was not... Look at it. I can't carry it. I'm a Christian. <laughs> I cannot lie to you. This is... How much is it? Okay, I'll give you 4,000 last. That's my first girl, she should tell you. That's what I said. And that's how we said. Uh -huh. I'll give 2,500 last. I uh, know. She could have sold it if it was too Let me give you some 5,000 last. You will like it. It will last. It will last for you. I'll give you 4,000 last. But I can't cheat you. I'm a Christian already. Do you have a time to match? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, how much is the head? This is a yellow for this one. So how much is it? This one's uh, 50,000. Uh, Are they original ones? Ah yes. Bless them, you know. I've prayed on them. Beautiful. Not this way. So I will be taking both of them, these, these, and these. Ah. So, God bless you. I have, I have, I have this one. I have. I should, I should My uh, brothers and sisters, uh, once again, I welcome you to this meeting. Uh, I do sincerely hope that we have not forgotten that we have a fourth coming crusade. Well, Prophet, have we finally gotten the venue for the event? That's one of the reasons why we're here in this meeting. Because we need to find a venue so we can go ahead and consult with the local authorities, you know, as to get permission from them so we don't end up stepping on anybody's toes. Yeah, um, Prophet, 
we can only be able to print and post posters after we've met with the local authority for clearance and protocol. Yes. Uh, in that respect, then, um, I think you and Sister Helen here should uh, go ahead, look for a venue, and as soon as you get the venue, you go ahead and consult with the local authorities, you know, get the permission uh, to enable us to uh, commence um, the printing of posters and other publicities. Yes, Prophet, we shall do exactly that. You can have our word. Very well. Yeah, Sister Helen, that reminds me. I must say that I'm overtly impressed with your soul within the campaign. Yeah. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 58, that we should be steadfast, unmovable, abounding in the works of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain, be shall surely be rewarded. That's what the Bible says. Amen. 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 We shall continue to live in the way of the Lord, for we know our rewards are in heaven. We received your letter with reference to your desire to conduct a general crusade here in this city. We have approved it, but we have established the fact that no posters will be tolerated due to the field accumulated around the city. We are all Christians. We wouldn't want to be an obstacle to the gospel. Nevertheless, we will advise you people to find a way of publicity rather than pasting posters all around the city. I am very sorry, but that's the decision from above. Huh. Well, um... <clears throat> We want to thank you for making this meeting a possibility. We shall go and deliver to our prophet what you have said. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you too. And we want to also use this opportunity to invite you for our crusade. We promise you that the God of NOPO will not disappoint you. He will meet you at the very point of your needs. You will not be disappointed. No problem, ma. Just keep us posted. In that case, we'll back to me. There's so much to be done to make this a success. Ah, uh, we understand. Okay. Please, send my greetings to the Prophet. And tell him to remember that you are in his prayers. We will. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye, sir. Let me also give you a question. God bless you. You can stay to me. Okay. Bye bye. God bless you. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye. My brothers and sisters, um, I am confused. Oddly very confused, especially now that we cannot publicize this crusade as a result of their rejection to give us, uh, to grant us permission. So what do we do? Please, I'm, I'm throwing it open now to everybody. If you have any idea, any suggestion or suggestions as to any other form of uh, publicity we can uh, adopt, you know, for this crusade, please feel free to open it up. Prophet, um, what about door-to-door -door outreach publicity? Door-to-door. Mm -hmm. I personally don't think I'm comfortable with that. How many people will we be able to reach before the event comes up? Uh, exactly, especially now that the crusade is just by the corner. You know, I don't, I don't think now. Be... Please, let it say something. You know, anybody with anything, just throw it open. We'll look into it. You know, if it's something we can buy into, why not? Okay. Uh, Prophet, I have a thought. Hmm. Uh, may I suggest that we, 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 we print a special apron like the one I'm wearing now uh, and make sure that all members get one and go on their daily activities with it. They wear it around on a daily basis so people will read through. I think it's a uh, point for us because as they move with it, they read it through. What you are trying to say is we all 
you know, make things, wear them, mm -hmm. you know, to anywhere we're going to. Yes, we we'll write it on. Okay. And, and they wear it to, wear it to the market. People can read through this world. Mm. Anywhere you would. This is wonderful. Great idea. Mm. Great, great, great idea. I think that, what do you think? This this is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Thank huh? you. Well, I think it makes sense. A whole lot of sense. A whole lot of sense. A whole lot of sense. Prophet. Sister Helen has done it again. She's always full of creativity and innovations. God. But can you see I'm so short of words, I don't know, you don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just simply wonderful. So we can print on whatever, and you yeah. write and all that for reading and... I said you were already publicizing. Sister Helen, may God bless you. Thank you, Prophet. And like I tell each and every one of us in this church, our reward will be in heaven. Thank you. Your reward shall be in heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Prophet. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. So that solves it. Oh, wonderful idea. So we all wear them. You know, we wear them. Every day, you know, we go, we're going to work, we wear them. We go to the market, we wear them. We wear them anywhere. You know, with the, oh, it's wonderful. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Hello, God. My brother, let go of them, you sleeping. God, come and see the place is right. God, access prayer. You have been waiting for money. You want to be rich. You want to be rich. God of my will give you money. You want to be exalted. Success. So the prosperity. I'm not going to get up. 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 I
Also mandated us to do the same. So as I administer this holy communion to you, it shall make us one family. And as a partaker of this holy communion, it is expected that we abide by the principles the tenants and beliefs that holds us together as the Lord's family, which includes winning of souls to the Lord's family, as is portrayed by this ministry. So my dear, I promise to serve God and win souls for this ministry. Good. Drink. Good. Good. Oh. Please sit down. Let me quickly remind you, my dear sister, that you're on God's protection as long as you're under this covering. But as soon as you lose this covering, I'm afraid we cannot guarantee your protection anymore. I promise to serve this ministry and protect the ministry. In that case, congratulations. Thank and you. And welcome to the Lord's family. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. We're running in race. By his grace, we shall continue to serve him. We are not serving the great God here. I know that the Lord is doing something among us here. Whilst I was praying last night, the Lord revealed to me that a certain woman who has never attended this church before and who does not believe in miracles. But that same woman will be here today. I don't know if she's here to test God. I don't know if she's here to try God. But I know that the Spirit is looking for her. The Spirit is not told me that this same woman's husband is at the point of death. And that she needs miracle of the soul is now. If you are that woman, I don't know who you are, but the spirit has located you. And I know you will hear. Come forth. Mm -hmm. Come on, I just 
place of work. I've gone to several hospitals, but all to no avail. I was almost giving up hope. But last week, I went into Sister Helena, Sister Gloria, who came to the hospital to pray for the sick. And they also talked to me about this church. And Prophet Moses here. So I've come to try. I've come to try this place to pass on.
Bless the ministry of MOP for me. But Paul for Jesus. Okay, baby. Hey. Oko zirimo na for garaga. Emo remo lila nyano gagosi.
there is plenty to eat and drink. In the Lord, there is plenty to eat and drink. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and every man shall be added unto you. Amen. We have to seek God first. Man shall not eat by bread alone, but by every word that cometh out of the mouth of God. Can somebody say Hallelujah? Shit for. 
I thank you so much for coming for today's fellowship. Okay. May the good Lord bless you. Yeah. As you have heard the preaching today, and you've seen all the signs and wonders that the Lord is doing in this ministry, the Lord will give you the grace to work for Him in this vineyard in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. As it is said in the Bible, that we should remember the Lord in the days of our youth. And that we should present our bodies a living sacrifice unto God. The Lord guide you and give you the grace to keep your bodies for His own glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Clems. Well, um, thank you, Sister Helen. <clears throat> My sisters, you're welcome. Thank you. Now, as you're about to be ordained, as a special evangelism soul searches. You must bear it in mind that the devil will try everything to frustrate you. Do you understand? Indeed, as it was written in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10, that do not fear those things that you're about to suffer. And indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you in prison. Way to trust you, and you will face a lot of tribulations, a lot of tribulations. So be faithful unto the until death, and God will give you the cup of life. Amen. 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 Pastor Clemens, God bless you. You heard Pastor Clemens. Your unshorn here is to go out there and win souls for the Lord. And the good Lord will give you the grace to win as much souls as possible and you bring them all to this ministry. God will give you the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I would like Pastor Glenn to pray for us before you go out for the soul winning. Pastor Glenn, please. Hallelujah. Let's rise up our heads and pray to the Lord and Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In that wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for today. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for these beautiful sisters that has given their life to you. Amen. That are ready to walk in your vineyard. You know, so many people trust in chariots, some of them trust in different gods, some trust in their knives. But I trust in the one and only living God, the one who created heaven and earth, the one who says yes and the one yes says no. That's why I'm singing a song like this. Are you ready? Many days gone by, many years gone by. Not my prayer, not my fasting, fasting, eh? not my righteousness, my faithfulness. But His grace has kept me alive, and I still be today. He's the one and only living God, the one and only I am that I am. 
myself Only rock of ages on which I stand Is the one I'll always draw Calm, sir. I would prefer we go over to my office to discuss this. Calm? Where is she? How is she doing? I'm sorry, Pastor. But she's passed on. She gave up. What? I'm sorry. We did everything we could. But it's unfortunate. You take care, sir. Please. I'm sorry. Today is a sad day in our ministry. And as you can see, our great prophet Moses Ikechuku is not here. The sad news is that he just lost his beloved wife. Yeah. So I urge each and every one of us to make it a point of duty to sympathize with him in this moment of sorrow and pray for him. But the Bible says that we should mourn with those that mourn. Um, we are all witnesses to the bountiful blessings God has apportioned to us through this great man of God. So please, um, let's bow our head and have a minute silence in total remembrance of her soul.
there is a son. God give it and God take it. He knows better than us. He knows why it happened that way. So. It's a pity, sir. Take it. Thank you. Take it, sir. Thank you. That is not the end of life. It's only a transition into the beginning. Take it. Take it, sir. Sir. The Lord will give you the heart to be a such an irreplaceable loss. It is well. I thought it was a rumor. That is good now. As the head of the church and a man of God. He's supposed to remarry in order not to be distracted by these sexy looking young ladies and the old women like us. Ha! Oh. Wait, let me finish my gossip now. I, I also heard he's planning to marry Sister Helen. Sister Helen, what? <laughs> Our own market challenge. You had me right. Okay. <laughs> I thought that rumor had it that it was this anthology. We are yet to see which of the rumor is true. But I'm very, very optimistic that he's planning to marry Sister Helen. Well, that is good though. That is good for Sister Helen because she has been single since she separated from her husband. Yes. But the problem is if Sister Helen will accept his marriage, marriage proposal. She must. This could as well be her last chance of getting a good man like Prophet Moses. He is spiritually powerful, charismatic, well loaded. What else does Sister Elin expect from a man? Actually, think it up. Well, let's watch and see who wears the crown. But I'm so, so jealous. I'm so jealous. I wish I was embarrassed. Go to your shop. Let me come before she is generally Is it because of the, the announcement made in the church about Prophet Moses impending marriage to Sister Oluchi? Uh, whatever it is, at least you could have waited after the service. Or you have, let's go back. Let's 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 
Pastor, do you know why she's leaving? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's... God has made him a helper. He has now come back to sleep. And I want to happily announce to you that this helper is no other person than Sister Emilia Aluji. Understand? Is it because of the, the announcement made in the church about Prophet Moses impending marriage to Sister Oluchi? Uh, whatever it is, at least you could have waited after the service. Or you have, let's go back. To the 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 Pastor, do you know why she's leaving? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's go back. Market women, although you are higher in rank than I, but you see, you're like a sister to me, and I must advise you to consider your decision in this matter and please come back to church. It's been over three weeks, you've, you've not been to church, and everyone is missing you. Please, Mama Chipola, I have sacrificed everything for that church. Why should Prophet Moses keep me and marry Sister Luchi? Why? Uh, maybe because he's not in love with you. Maybe he doesn't love you. Are you going to force a man to marry you at all costs? The Bible says, Who shall separate us from the love of God? Is it Prophet Moses? Or Pastor Rinze? Who? Sister Helen. Mama Jibola, come to think of it, I've served that church for so many years. I want souls for that church. Sacrificed everything. Where did I go wrong? Am I not a marriage material? Am I not? Sister Helen, honestly, you are more than a marriage material. And a blessing to any man. That is why I am asking you, please, come back to church. Come back to church so that you shame the devil. And remember, you made me a full member of Mopo Church. And now you want to abandon me there. Please, I am begging you. Mama Chibola, I'm so sorry about that. 
I'm, I'm so sorry about the way you feel about this whole thing. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. I am not coming back. I have made up my mind and I'm not going back on that. I'm sorry. I'm not going back there. I'm again with this. Let me go win this game. Let me go win this game. Ah, they delay me for you. Play this game, Tari. Ah, which one be your own now? Why they change my game now? Blazer, they send you. Carry your own thing. Carry your own thing. If you wish, you have your own. Carry your own. Carry two of us. Ah. これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ
called the kingdom of God is at hand. Because who, he who is in this world, everybody is a sinner. Nobody is perfect, so it's not too late for you. It can never be too late. Okay. Can you come to our ministry? We are inviting you to our ministry. Can I get you? Nothing. Nothing. Eh. Hey. hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, we are actually sent by the church to ask you to please reevaluate your decision of leaving the ministry and come back to the household of God. Yes, Sister Helen. You have your grievances, but there is nothing you cannot settle amicably in the house of God. Exactly, Sister Helen. You see, this battle is not yours. It's of the Lord. Exodus 14, 14 already tells us that the Lord will fight our battle and we are to hold our peace. You are a trailblazer to this ministry. You've run this race. And Revelation 3, 21 tells us that he who runs this race to the last will receive a crown of glory. Please, Sister Helen. Well, Pastor Rizé, Sister Patience, I thank you so much for your advice. Once again, you're welcome again to my house. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to say that uh, I have made up my mind. I've taken a stand. There's no going back on my words. Please, go back and tell Prophet Moses that I have nothing against him. Neither do I have anything against the church. But the truth of the matter is that I have taken a decision and I will not go back on my words. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. That is my stand on this issue. Thank you so much for coming. You mean she boldly told you she was leaving the ministry? Exactly, Prophet. We tried all we could to make her reconsider her decision. But she remained adamant. Did she tell you why she was leaving? That's what baffles me most in this whole thing. I think there's more to it than what we'll see. Sister Helen Choko is a very big spiritual material to lose. I, I suggest you take a time out and go and meet her yourself. I think I support that suggestion also, at least for the growth of the ministry. you to be aware of his tricks. Prophet, I know it is my decision to quit for reasons best known to me. I would like to know that I, I hold nothing against you or the church. I just want to be alone. The Bible says the devil comes but to steal and destroy the souls of God's children. And we, the chosen ones, are his prime target. I want you to realize, Sister and Sister Helen, that salvation is essential for posterity. For it is only those who endure to the end that will be saved. So, Prophet, what do you want me to do? Let bygone be bygone and come back to the house of God. Do not let your heart be troubled, for the Christ in you is your hope of glory. Okay, I've heard you. I promise to think about it. Good. 
I sincerely do pray that God touches your heart and gives you the divine wisdom to understand the truth. For the Bible says in Colossians 1 9 that our salvation, as we also have heard of it, do not cease to pray for you and ask that you be filled with knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Amen. Come on, let us pray. Father Lord, I ask that you take absolute control of this situation. Hey, brother, 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 please, what's this? Hi, brother. Why are you locking this shop? Eh? Why are you sealing the shop? On whose authority are you doing this? Do you realize that this shop belongs to the chair lady of this matter? Yeah. Woman, we are sent from the local government authority. If you have any objection to that, you better go and sort it out with them. As you can see, we are here to carry out our duties. Tell them. We are here to carry on our duties. Simple. Let's go. Which local government again? Local government authority. Why are they looking up in this shop? Let's hurry up and call her. Hey, hey sister. Seven to power three is what? Hmm. You crammed that one. Okay. Junior. Seven to power four is what? Don't look inside this building. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. That's good. Cool. If I ask you now, seven to power ten. I'm very upset. Sister Helen, uh, uh, what is it? Sister Helen, I was, I was trying to get you on phone, but you were not picking the phone. Yes, sir. My phone is charging in the room. Yeah, in the room. Uh, what is it? Were well, you the one that instructed the local government authority to lock up your shop? For the machine. Lock up my shop? How? For what? When? Did that mean? You are hiding for me this stuff, right? Because I saw them looking up your shop. My own shop? Why would. How? It's true. 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 Did this happen? About four hours ago. Yes. And I was trying to contact you, but you were not picking your phone. How are you sure that the men you saw locking the show were from local government? I spotted them. Uh -uh. When I approached them, they told me it's from local government authority. Exactly. Why would the local government instruct the task force to lock my show when I did nothing? Sister Helen, that's one thing we must find out. Uh -huh. The only we get to the root of this, the better. Yes. Since you are the chair lady of the market, let's go to the local government office and find out. The devil is a liar. He is, he is a, a liar. liar. He is a liar. I'll get to the bottom of the Yes. Let's get to the local government. Who did go to the right here? Ah! Prophet, yes. Do you have an appointment with you? I don't need to have an appointment. I'm a Mopo woman. Okay, Mopo. Exactly. Come, come to this way. Mr. Helen. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. You will not believe me that just last night, whilst I was praying, God revealed to me that you will pay me a visit today. And here you are. <laughs> God is awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Can I offer you a drink? Thank you. I'm fine. Are you sure? Honestly, Professor, I'm fine. I just I'm came to have an urgent discussion with you. Very well then. Uh, histology? Please, excuse us. Is this serious matter or issue you want to discuss with me? Prophet, my shop has been sealed by the local government authority. When I got to the office, I was told that you instructed them to seal it. I, I want to know why. And you believe them? No, 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 I'm asking. You believed I could do such a thing? Issue an instruction that your shop be sealed? Sister Helen, maybe you're forgetting that I'm a man of God. I cannot do such a thing. It is not just possible. I did not issue any instruction. You see, Sister Helen, I believe strongly that you're experiencing everything you're going through right now because God wants you back in the ministry. He wants you to continue doing the good works you've been doing by winning souls unto Him rather than business. You see, you've been a tremendous blessing to mankind through your good works and he wants you back in the ministry. If you will agree with me and accept that, I'd like to pray with you regarding that. Thank you. I'll think about it. But let me reopen my shop first. The Bible says that he shall supply all our needs through Christ Jesus. And the Bible furthermore goes to say that man must not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out from his mouth. It's okay. I'll see what I can do. I have a few friends that works in the local government authority. I will. Okay. Thank you, Prophet. God bless you. God bless you too. Sister Helen, Pastor Arinze told me that you are asking for some percentage from what the church earns. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, considering the fact that I've worked so much for this ministry and my only source of income has been drastically affected, I think the church should give me some financial assistance in terms of percentage. And, and, and what makes you feel the church is obliged to do that? Well, you've always said that those that work in the vineyard feed from it. And my only source of income has been drastically affected. I don't have any other source. And based on my great impact in winning souls for this ministry, I think the church should give me some financial leverage. Financial leverage? Yes. Financial leverage? Sister Helen, I am shocked. I am surprised. Most of all, baffled at the fact that you're asking for some reward for working in the vineyard of the Lord. In my entire years as a Christian, I have never heard, seen, or read anywhere in the world where somebody who sows in the vineyard of the Lord is asking for some reward. No, never, never. I am disappointed. 
But, Pastor, I... But what? Now, you listen to me, Sister Helen. Let me quickly tell you something. I want you to understand that whatever we do for Christ here on earth, we get the reward in heaven. What you're simply asking for amounts to blasphemy. And I, as a general overseer of this church, would not be a party to it. No, I won't. So if you don't mind, excuse me. I said, excuse me. in the vineyard of the Lord asking to be paid oh God Honestly speaking, if I knew that Prophet Moses was this heartless and selfish, I, I wouldn't have helped him develop that ministry. Ha! I agree Jesus. with you. At least they should consider the positive impact you made for the church mm -hmm. and compensate you. Exactly. Hi. <laughs> Sister Helen, now, what have you decided to do? <laughs> Is either Prophet Moses decide to give me some percentage from the church offering mm -hmm. or have himself to blame? What kind of selfish man is this? I sacrificed all my time in winning souls for that ministry. So why won't he compensate me? Is it wrong for him to compensate me? It's not. It's not at all. How do you? And whatever decision you take, I am solidly behind you. Thank you. Let us not look at this in one direction. Hmm? If you go down for this man, someday he will compensate you. When? Is it when I'm dead and gone? Amazing. Or when they throw my kids out of school? Is it when he will compensate me? In fact, I am, I am beginning to have a second thought about that man of God. Hmm. I mean, how could he be this selfish? Ah. How could he? I'm meant for you. No. How could the prince not for me? Ha! The prince will give me one. Can you give one more your man? Eh? Ha! Be cooking and I will deal with him at the right direction. Hmm? Thank you. I was never the cook. I don't like it. Please. Arise, O oh Lord! Let my enemies scatter. Father, contend with them that contend with me. Father, fight them that walk against me. Father, oh my God, let their everlasting confusion never depart from them. Let their path be dark and slippery. Let the angel of God war against them, Jehovah. Arise, O oh Lord, and let my enemies scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, contend with them, O oh Lord. Father, contend with them, O oh Lord. Father, contend with them, O oh Lord. Let the everlasting confusion never depart from them in the name of Jesus. Sister Helen, it's good to see you back again. So good. And I want you to retain your position. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Honestly speaking, Prophet, what happened was the handwork of the devil. I'm so sorry. I can understand, but it is not a very good excuse. <clears throat> For the Bible says, resist the devil and he shall flee. Anyhow, the most important thing is that you've been given a second chance. Make good use of it. But please, do not take God for granted. Neither should you take me for granted. Thank you, sir. You're welcome back. 
to welcome to the fold. Thank you. There's a problem. What? What is it? It's Emeka. Emeka. Ah! Emeka. Oh. Emeka! What happened to him? Emeka just collapsed. Where we are coming? Jesus! No! Hey! Please, take me today. My name is Afkamo. and was rushed in the hospital. Hey! Where? Where? Uh, From? <laughs> by who? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey! The God of Mopo will not allow anything to happen to your son. <laughs> but where is he right now? He's in the hospital. Along the expressway. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at me. Look at me, Sister Hedy. Look at me, who will speak for me? Gloria. Who will speak for me? Sandra, calm down. Hey! 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 He's the only one I have, God, please. Do not despise me. Good. Okay, <laughs> God of people will not allow this to happen. God of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that he was wounded for our transgression, and by his stripes we are healed. And this same Bible says that we should lay our hand on the sick and the sick shall be healed. So, Junior, I decree right now that in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. that may you be healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet right Amen. now. Amen. We command you to get your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not bury our children long. We will live to see our great grandchildren. Gina, you will live to see your own children in the name of Jesus Christ. So we command every spirit of darkness in this vicinity now to get out in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the blood of Jesus, that speaking Lord, and the blood of Abel, speak for you right now. For he was wounded for our transgression. And I command you to receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right? Be healed. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive your healing. For he in his stripes you are healed. He was wounded for our transgression. So receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
is well with you. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Thank God for your financial and moral support in this issue. It's okay. And I have always believed in the fellowship of the church. But as long as I remain a faithful member of Mopo, I believe that my God will save my son. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Sir Gloria, there is nothing this God cannot do. Amen. You see, you know it was said in the Bible that Abraham had faith. It was counted for him as righteousness. If your son will live or die, it's in your hands. It depends on you. If you have faith and believe in the word of God. But if you doubt God, the devil will manipulate his health. So it all depends on you. As for Prophet Moses, He's the most powerful man of God in this, this society. This that man, God is using him miraculously. And I can tell you, when you come on Sunday, he will intercede for your son. And I know that once he mentioned this case, your boy will receive healing. Amen. He will be healed Amen. once Prophet Moses intercedes on it. Right. The God of MOPO will heal him. It is well, be strong. Thank you very much, my sister. It's well. I believe God. Mm -hmm. He will do it. Oh, amen. Oh, come. It's okay. Come on, Sunday. Oh, that was good. It's okay. Thank you. Have faith. Thank you. Continue to pray. My regards to your children. Like I said, that God we say is Jehovah Rapha. The rose of Sharon, the I am that I am. He makes the impossible possible. Woman, let not your heart be troubled. I shall continue to pray for you, son. All is well. But please don't uh, fail to text me the address of the hospital. It is very important. I will, Prophet. I will leave you people here. I have a meeting to attend. Yeah. Thank you. It is well. Let's talk. Thank you. Thank you. Sister, I hope you enjoyed this castling. I am more than impressed. It's as if a very big load was carried away from me. Mm -hmm. Hi, God. Thank you so much. Amen. You know, the Bible said that we should come unto Him, all those that are heavy laden, and He will give us rest. And as Prophet Moses Ikechiku has prayed for your son, he will not die. Amen. To fulfill that which the Lord has said concerning him. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, my sister. Thank you so very much. You know, in fact, I believe him and I believe that my son will not die. Amen. I know that my son will not die. My God will not leave me alone. You know, the Bible says, as a man can get in his heart, so he is. Yes. So if you believe your son will not die, he will not die. But let your faith bring you testimonies to the glory of the Lord Amen. in Jesus' name. Uh, madam, the condition of your son's health is deteriorating the day. The earlier we do this operation, the more hope we have for his survival. Doctor, please. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Just have sympathy on me. I am a single and a close mother. And there is no way I can ever raise that kind of money now. Please. Uh, but see, madam, there's no one who can. Do this operation without an initial deposit. Mm. Huh? I'm only acting based on the modus operandi of this hospital. Doctor, please. Just start something. You can start something. I will try and lorry around for the money. Please. Well, uh, at least, at least we need half of the money. Mm. Please. How much will that be? At least 1.5 million. Jesus! Jesus! 
Jesus. Well, um, in that case, I have no option than to wait till you rally down and bring money. Is at the point of death. Hey, look at how am I going to go about this money? Where can I get that money from? Who will give it to me? Who? Hey, God. Sister Gloria, all hopes are not lost. Hmm? Let's put our trust in the Lord. Remember that the Bible says that those that put their trust in the Lord cannot be put to shame. Is well, the Lord will make a way for us. Don't forget what the prophet said about your son. Yes, I believed him. But my concern is how am I going to go about and raise this money? My son is dying, and no one to assist me. Just look at me. Hey, God, God, God. God, come to my rescue. God, come to my rescue. Hey, hey. God, oh, God, oh, God, oh. Oh, who will help me? Who will help me? Oh, who will help me? They will not like me. They will not like me. They will not like me. Why am I leaving for you? That is it, Prophet. That is why we are here. Uh, the doctor is demanding for an initial deposit of 1.5 million naira. And Sister Gloria cannot raise that money within the short time given to us. Um, I plead that the church assist her financially. She's an active member of this church. Please, let's uh, help her financially to enable her to save her son. Please, Prophet, that's why we're here. Please. Please, Prophet. Please. No, 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 please, please, get up, get up, get up. For God's sake, please, save my son. Get up, please. Get up. Well, um, Sister Gloria, you see, we are serving a living God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changeth not. He did it for others. So he will do it for you. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Prophet. Good. Uh, another truth is uh, that um, this is a spiritual problem that needs spiritual solution and not money just like you or the doctors think hmm? uh, prophet i don't understand the doctor has already diagnosed the problem all she needs is money Please. for them to commence operation. Please. Please. This is part of the problems we Christians have. Prayer is the key to this problem and not money. Sister Gloria, where lies your faith? Put your faith to work and save your son. Your faith lies in your hand. Use it. Put it to work. And save your son. But in the absence of that, I promise that the God I serve, the great I am that I am, the beginning and the end, shall heal your son. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. The doctors might say anything. People might say whatever. You might think whatever. But I tell you what. God has the final say. He has the last say. Your son will be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. amen. Thank you, Prophet. Thank God. You're blessed. But, Prophet, what about the money for the operation? Sister Gloria, the Bible says that though your faith be as small as a mustard seed, if you say to the mountain, be thou removed, it shall be removed. I have prayed for your son. All I need you do for me is exercise your faith in agreement with me and your son will be healed. We we will please don't let my son die. Please don't let my son die. In the name of Jesus Christ that I said, your son is healed. Can you say amen to that? Vanity, vanity, upon vanity, vanity is the wealth of man. Upon vanity, vanity, upon vanity, vanity, vanity. I want you to commence oppression on this boy and save his life. His life is at risk. I'm the child lady of a big market. I promise you, I will rally around and bring this money for you. But the most important thing now is for you to save the life of this poor boy. Commence the oppression. I will bring the money for you. The, this boy could be your son, you know. Please. Um, madam, I've done much already. I sympathize with you. I understand the whole situation. But there's nothing I can do under this circumstance. At least I've done everything humanly possible to convince you that I cannot do anything without an energy deposit or something. Hey, I need to bring in other surgeons. Huh? Try and understand. Understand that I'm between a hard place and a rock. Please. Uh, madam, there's nothing I can do. Do you have a heart of God? Please. It, it requires a lot of money. Hey! Doctor, please show some love. Hey. God is love. Huh? Everything is your hands. At least I admitted him, is it? Please. Doctor, I'll pay you this money. I'm a Christian. Hey! Yes. Yes. Show charity, show some love. <laughs>
my brothers and sisters. May God bless you all. Look at this picture I have here. It's a young boy like you, an innocent boy, that is sick in the hospital. He needs an operation at the point of death. Please, I beg you in the name of God, give what you have to help save the life of this boy. You know, the Bible said that we should be our brother's keepers. So let us please show love to this young boy so that he will be alive to see what the Lord has said concerning his life. I beg you in the name of God. Oh, the Bible says we should be our brother's keepers. Let's show some love to this boy. And the Lord will surely bless you. Give us never life. Give what we have to never life. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. Give what you have, the Lord will surely bless you. God bless you. Oh, thank you, my brother. God will bless you. Amen. You will never lack in Jesus' name. Amen. You will never lack in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, the Lord will bless you. Oh, thank you so much. The Lord will bless you. Bless you. Never lack. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will answer all your prayers. Amen. And you will never lack in life in Jesus' name. Are you aware that a uh, sister Helen is roaming in the city with a picture of a sick boy soliciting for money in the name of the church? You can't be serious. Well, I personally saw her in the market today collecting money in the name of the ministry. And I suggest you call her to order. How could she do such a thing? I don't know. All I know is you should do something in the interest of the ministry. Wait a minute. You, you mean you saw her with a boy's photograph soliciting funds? Yes, in a big poster like this. With the name of my ministry? I saw it with my two. Well, I have seen the items in your shop. Ah, thank God. You see, those items are the best in the market. And I gave you the best price. Really? Yeah. Well, are you okay if I write a check for you? No problem, provided I will not have any problem with the bank. Or you will not see. God bless you. Um, let me see. Thank you, my sister. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so very much. It's okay. What would I have done without you? Hmm? God, I thank you. God. She has no solve anything. Let, let's take this money straight to the hospital so the doctor can start uh, operation on, uh, on him. Okay. While we rally around to get the, the balance, oh? Thank you, my sister. Let's go. Please use this and commence operation on this boy. His life is at risk. By the time, before you are through with the pressure, we'll be back with the balance. Please, one million. Uh, madam, I'm afraid that will not be possible. Uh, the total money for the operation is four million naira. The 1.5 million naira is only an advance payment. And I will not take anything less than that. Please try and understand. And I must add 
that the chances of that boy surviving is very little. Doctor! What are you trying to tell me? Doctor! What are you saying? So, is that how heartless you doctors are? Why are you being so difficult? Madam, Why? Madam, Why are you being so difficult? Madam, you want my son to die! That's why you want my son to die! You are heartless! You are heartless! Uh, madam, you are inhuman! Madam, calm down! You are inhuman to have a heart of God! Calm down, it's not my fault. I'm only employed to work in this hospital. I take orders from above. Maybe if you stop shouting and add little money now, your son will not die. Oh my God! Your son will not die in Jesus' name. He is so bad now. Hi! Madam, it's not my fault. I take orders from somewhere. It's not my fault. Shouting and crying will never will not solve this problem. My name is Gloria Chukuka. Mm -hmm. Welcome. And I want to see your madam, Vivian. My madam? Yes. Why are you looking for my madam now? <sighs> it's a matter of life and death. Mm -hmm. Please, life and death. Allow me to see her, please. Hi. I'm afraid. My madam is not around at the moment. Please try again later. Hi. Maybe I, I should wait for her. Mm -hmm. uh, I am coming from a very far place. Hi. See, eh? I will not advise you to wait. Since I'm not sure when she's coming back and you are trying to wait. But if you insist, you can sit. Can you sit there? Okay. Okay. Uh, let me wait for her. Uh, let me sit there. You want to cross? You are crossing. Not those who cross. Okay, now wait. Huh? <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. She's been here since, waiting to see you. Uh, she said it's a matter of life and death. Ah, a matter of life and death? Mm -hmm. What does she say her name is? Her name was... Mm -hmm. My friend talk. Oh, sorry. Her name is... Uh, Gloria Chukuka. Ah! Mm -hmm. That's Gloria! Oh mm -hmm. my God, Jesus! Madam Gloria! Madam Gloria! Madam Gloria! Madam Gloria! Madam Gloria! Oh, oh my god. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you looking like this? It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. It's okay. I'm back. Let's go.
of man is desperately wicked you know it was said in second timothy that in the last days a heartless wicked men like prophet moses will come in godly form but their preachings will fault them people will begin to have affections for them and begin to derive joy in material things instead of gods and that is exactly what is happening now hmm. ah. Sister Helen, I will advise you to be very careful. Don't forget what happened to you the last time you tried to go against him. Prophet Moses is a, a, a very powerful man of God. Powerful man of God, my foot. That he performs signs and wonders does not make him a powerful man of God. I will disgrace him. I will make him a laughing stock in this community. Just watch me. Helen, 
you are taking this thing too far. If you will listen to me, forget everything about Prophet Moses. That Emeka died is not a good reason for you to, to go against a powerful man of God. What powerful man of God? A man that does not love his people? A man that has no affection for the people? Is that who you call a man of God? I will disgrace Prophet Moses. I will make everyone understand that he's a fake man of God. God cannot be mocked. And by the time I am done with him, all this nonsense will stop. Let me tell you something, Mama Jibola. I am well fortified for this battle. I am ready for it. And I will achieve it. That is a promise. All this nonsense must stop. Enough. You're surprising me. I can't, I can't just understand you honestly. <laughs> we shall see. My brothers and sisters, I am the voice of salvation. The Lord sent me here to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. I am here to tell you the mark of the beast 666 that the Bible told us to be careful of, which is the sign of the end time. It's here with us. I am here to tell us.
My brother, God shall judge us all accordingly. Because for anybody to think you will destroy a ministry I suffered to build will amount to nothing else other than religious sacrilege. We shall we'll see how it plays out in the end. Yes. My propaganda. Yes, that's what it is. That's no problem. The news is all over the town. Yes, it is. It's okay. <laughs> we shall see how it happens. All we need to do right now is my low for now. Yes. Thanks for calling. Bye. Pastor Rizzo. Prophet, what's going on? I got a call from someone over our sister Helen. He's doing. I was so absorbed on how they say she's castigating your name. I mean, us and the minister. What have we done to deserve this? It's the devil. The devil is at work. But fear not. For many are our afflictions as ministers of God. For the good Lord that we serve shall deliver us all. Amen. Amen. As for Sister Holly, She's frustrated because we refuse to give her percentage from the church offering that she asks for. That's why she's doing what she's doing. God! This woman has to be stopped. Even though she will end up destroying the good man of this minister. We need not worry about Sister Helen Chukwu. Thank God for all Yes. The way she started this unholy and ungodly battle against me and the minister. But I promise you something. This time around, there will be no narrow escape. So sister, will I offer you something? Ah, uh, nothing please. Um, may I know why I'm here? Uh, <clears throat> Last week, precisely, I was passing through the market. I saw some people gathered and listening to someone. Well, as a curious person that I am, I decided to stop by and know what was really going on. It was then I was I saw you. Well, actually, I was really shocked to see you talking about uh, the evil deals of Mopo and the, the so-called Prophet Moses Ekechuku. Why? Are you a member of that church or something? <laughs> uh, my sister, this world is a very small place for those who understand it. Ten years ago, I was a member of his church until he duped me of my hundred million naira. Lord Jesus, are you sure of what you're saying? Do you mean it? <laughs> I do, with all sincerity. In fact, at that time, I was a local government chairman in my state. And I happened to be in Lagos for a business transaction. Then I was looking for a place to worship on a Sunday. Any place at all. And being a high profile person, I decided to look for a very simple church where I could worship. That was when I met with this same prophet, Moses Ekechukwu.
So, I have come to thank you on behalf of the entire church uh, regarding the big donation you made uh, in church on Sunday. It is indeed marvelous in our sight. May God bless you. Oh, thank you, man of God. Um, it's a small thing. I just thank God I'm in a position to help the work of God. <laughs> May God be blessed. Another problem. Uh, what is it? Uh, in the last couple of weeks, you know, the Holy Spirit has been ministering to me. Up until uh, a few days ago when it came as a revelation that God wants you to walk in his vineyard in the capacity of a minister. God wants you to win souls for him, save souls for him. God indeed wants to make you a very strong big man of God. What will then happen to my position as a, a local government chairman? Seeing that um, my people hold me in very high esteem. I am the custodian of our tradition. My people will never forgive me if I turn my back on them. Neither will God forgive you, sir, if you do not heed this great call. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? It is better to obey God than to obey man. Think about it. God, here we are. From the visibility study I conducted, it will cost me uh, well over one billion naira to build three super modern shopping malls on this side. Well, uh, it, it is good. It is good. It is good. But um, God wants you to concentrate more on His words rather than rather than divert your attention to other activities like what you want to do now. I will advise that you spend that money, invest that money in building God a house. I'm talking about a church. Really? Yes. The God I serve is not a liar. He deposited it inside of me and asked me to tell you that if you do, he will bless you tremendously through that house that you will build for him. The house will be a blessing to you.
take it easy, man. Just take it easy. My little home of no regrets. <laughs> Please. Oh, that's like a little home. Amen. 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 God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I present your Son before you. And just like you ministered to me sometime back, that you want your Son to walk in your vineyard. But you bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, I cover him with the blood of Jesus. Lord Christ. of Jesus. I cover his going out and his coming back with the blood of Jesus. Lord Christ. Of Jesus. I cover all his endeavors, all his concerns with the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus. And I ask that you protect him, Amen. that you protect his family, Amen. that you protect his business. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, I have prayed. Amen and amen. amen. Having you in my home. Look forward to seeing you again. So, from that moment, I cancelled every idea of building my own shopping malls and invested all my money in building three solid churches for Prophet Moses. Uh, and what happened next? <laughs> like you said, Prophet Moses is a con artist. He managed to coerce me. And before I realized what was happening, he had smarted me out of all my money. Jesus. Honestly, I don't understand. Since I was now born again Christian, I had to divorce two of my wives and kept my first wife. In the process of time, I visited Prophet Moses to demand for my money. But he managed to set me up with one of his members who accused me of raping her. I was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. As I speak to you now, I have lost everything. Everything. And Prophet Moses is now a powerful man of God in the eyes of majority. What do I do? I'll tell you what to do to have your revenge. Mm. Revenge is better served cold. Don't worry. Revenge is better served cold. Hey, Nemo. <laughs> hey, selling today was something else. My dear. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. You've not heard what is going on between Prophet Moses and Kanye <laughs> and the sister Helen. My dear, wonders, they say, will never end. <laughs> Nobody knew that Prophet Moses was a fake man of God. Hi! Thank God that the truth has already been revealed. Afrikiana. I am not blaming anybody for making me a party to his unholy ministry. Because after all, it was the same sister Helen that invited us there. So why is she complaining I now? I don't know. Oh. And that was because of him. She sold her shop and all the goods that was in it. And started dressing like one village champion. Hi! Ha. All in the name of their so-called M-O-O-P Omopo. Christ again. <laughs> Come. Nico. Ne. 
it was even rumored that people have started living there in numbers. They are left with just a few members. Hmm. What goes up must come down. Hey, imagine how all these so-called men of God are, are using fake miracles to manipulate the children of God. Hey! Hey! Anyway, you are real. God will surely punish them of their evil deeds yes, one sir. after the other. Yes, so the only thing I am praying now is that nothing happens to Sister Helen. I pray so, mm? and I fear for mm -hmm. her too. Anywhere the quarry, Lord. Anywhere the quarry. 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 Anywhere the So the Lord has opened my, my eyes and I'm here to announce to you people that you should be careful. Wherever you hear M-O-P-O, -O, run! Run for your dear life. Because they are demons. They are being controlled by Lucifer himself. So please, my viewers, hear the voice of salvation. All those miracles you see, they are fake. All those prophecies are fake. Those signs and wonders are all abracadabra to make you think that they have power. They don't have any power. What they have is demonic power. So I am here to tell you, my dear, and Sister Helene uh, Chuku, run away wherever you hear M-O-P-O. -O. Please, Helen said you should run for your dear life. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you as you listen in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Well, uh, my good sister Helen, thank you very much. Well, viewers, right here we still have uh, Sister Helen, but do not go anywhere. We'll still be back. We'll take a short break right now and we'll be right back in a moment. Thank you very much. We are mother Get it. What? Have you heard what? What? Well done, um, finally. Um, Joe has finally traveled to this. <laughs> Don't say that thing. Are you sure? He just traveled to US. Wow. He just called me yesterday that he's in the US. I'm telling you. This is great, man. My distinguished viewers, if you're just joining us, you're welcome to this explosive interview involving a former member of Mopo, Sister Helen. So, Sister Helen, um, I'd like to take you up on your allegation that Prophet Moses is an occultic man. Can you substantiate it? Yes. Viewers, Prophet Moses Ikechu is an occultic man. He has, he is keeping a serpent a big serpent in his house that he worked with. Yes. How can a man of God that claims that he worshiped God keep a serpent in his house? Knowing fully where the spiritual implication of what serpent, what, what python represents. He worships a python in his house. That is the source of his power. Have you people ever wondered why people die in his crusades? All those souls they waste during his crusade are the blood that he donates to his occultic powers. That's how he acquires blood that he gives to his occultic members. This Moses E.K. Chuku psychologically brainwashed people. He brainwashed them into, into them beginning to hear his voice, begin to dream of him, begin to hear strange voices. Those are his psychological strategy on how to hypnotize these people into believing that the only voice they hear are his. That is how he uses his members. Whenever you begin to hear the voice of Prophet Moses or begin to see him in your dream for those uh, uh, God of MOPO miracles, run! That is the strategy how he gets his members. Do you know how many pending land cases that is in the court? That is how he acquires his wealth. When he hypnotizes them, he brainwashes them. He acquires their property and eventually destroys them. That is how Moses E.K. Chuku works. He works in different ways, in demonic spirit, which is occultic power, with a python that he worships. That is what he does. But I am here to tell you, Moses E.K. Chuku, that your end has come. The life that you have destroyed will haunt you. The God in heaven will disgrace you. The voice of your wife crying in the grave will haunt you to the day you leave this world. Our end has come. You will not leave this world unpunished. 
that one they say that judgment starts in heaven you will be punished from earth my god will disgrace you i am telling you and you know what i am saying that this is the end of your journey by the time i am through with you i will let the whole world know your secret and they will know who you are and they will know that you are worshiping a demon and not my god my redeemer in heaven will prove that he is god in your case and i and this case will prove to the whole world so many of you that are deceiving people i'm using this video to tell you all you false preachers desist from this act for the kingdom of god is coming and the lord in heaven is coming soon so i'm warning you to desist and leave the people free amen you see I told you about this man. You told me what? How do you know if this is true? Of course, that man is an evil man. You just heard it now. Do you know if what she's talking is true? My girl, how do you see that? I tell you That's my pastor. I receive a healing from him. What? Yes, that man. I don't think I can believe that. Well, take a bit. Can believe? Wow. How was it? Fine. Wow, you yeah, really enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. And there you go. I see your guys. Yeah. Let me go. Well, my viewers, we are back. And we still have Sister Helen here in the studio. And uh, so, Sister Helen. What more can you tell us about this um, MOPO? Oh, my brothers and sisters, thank you for sitting back. I, I want you viewers to listen to me carefully and understand what I am saying. I know that Prophet Moses is here to wherever he is watching me right now. Know that I am not lying. I am saying the truth. I didn't bargain for him to get to this point, but finally it is here. And I want the, the viewers to know the truth and let this God set them free from uh, Prophet Moses Ikechuku. This man called Moses Ikechuku killed his wife. Have you viewers ever wondered what happened to his wife? He murdered her. Why did you kill her? Because that woman was a righteous woman of God with a heart of gold. That woman, you used to know, was a saint from heaven. That woman stood on the truth. But Moses Ikechuku saw her as a threat because the wife found out that he was having an affair with somebody's wife in that same MOPO. So when Moses found out and the wife refused to accept that, he saw her as a threat. What else did he do, my viewers? He attacked her spiritually, infected her with sickness. All of a sudden, a woman that was so healthy and strong, vibrant, became suddenly sick, sick one morning. When we got there, she was terribly sick. And meanwhile, we were all together, she was very strong. The sickness lasted only for two, three days. She just fell sick before she could be rushed to the hospital. She died. She just died. She was spiritually killed. And the, 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 the fake prophet came to the poor masses on television, pretending to be remorseful of the wife's death, shedding stupid tears. Just to get the masses saying that uh, it was the Lord. He, when he murdered, he murdered that innocent woman himself. After he killed this poor righteous woman. Oh, may her soul rest in peace. After he killed her, as a demonic uh, uh, genius that he is, he, he came to the public. He came to the poor masses just the way you're watching him and began to cry to get your sympathy. In less than two months that the woman died, he married, he remarried in the church. So the concubine that the woman was talking about took away that woman from her, her husband. How? Wow. Wow. Jesus. Prophet Moses. God forbid. Fake man. Now wow. Prophet. The whole Prophet Moses. She naked me. Hey! Oh my All these wow. new generation churches. Prophet Moses, Thank you. Thank you. watch them. Tell them the God of MOPO will meet you at your need. The God of MOPO will give you children. There is nothing like the God of MOPO. The only God we have is this Jehovah Nissi. I want you people to know that. Prophet Moses, 
You know who he is? I know him. Do you? Yeah, I know him. I know him. Have you been to his church? Yeah, so, I've been to his church before. I can't believe this. It's not real. He performed many miracles. Yes. And now, <laughs> imagine this. He's not working with God. She's not using the name of God. I can't believe this. This is not true. It's real. I believe ah, no, 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 I've been to that church once twice. Me too. I've been to oh, that God. church and I've seen the miracle the man before. My lady is real. Real. There are thousands of people that are being misled today. They are being manipulated, brainwashed, brainwashed into believing what is not real. What will I not say about Prophet Moses Ikechiko? What has he not done? This very man I'm talking about is very vindictive. This man has destroyed so many lives. He has killed so many people. You see, the, the, the bad part of it is that these miracles you see them perform in that church, all those testimonies, all those blind people, all those cripples, all those uh, barren that say they have children, all those people are being arranged to come and say such things. They are being paid. They are being paid to come and give those false testimonies. He is manipulating them, brainwashing. They don't even know what they are doing. That is where I'm getting angry. They don't even know what they are doing. And most of them eventually get killed. After they have confessed and testified, on the way he kills them. So the public would think that what they said is real. Do you know how many people that Prophet Moses E.K. Chuku has imprisoned? Do you know how many people that he has destroyed their homes? He has destroyed marriages. He has destroyed businesses. He has manipulated even little children. What hasn't he done? To, 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 to dent the image of this most high God and you think God is happy with him I am about to say that Moses E.K. Chuku this is the end of your journey you can no longer manipulate people people that are in prison today that nobody can bring out do you know how many members of MOPO that are being imprisoned? Eh? imprisoned? but why haven't they reported to the police? oh my brother the police? Oh, there's some police people are under his payroll. He pays wow. them off. Who will listen to you? You go to the police and, and report MOPO case. Oh my God. He will give them money. He will manipulate them. He has honorables on his back and corner. He has some governors with him. He has, he believes he's, he's, he's supernatural. They will just sweep the case under the carpet and that will be the end of the story. So many cases. Which instances haven't you taken to the police? What did they come out with? He will end up torturing you. Once he knows it is you, he will deal with you. He will deal with your family. He will deal with your generation. He will impound your business because he thinks he has connection to do everything. He believes he's above the law. Why he doesn't know that this God in heaven is the supreme God of mercy. This is the end of Prophet Moses E.K. Chiku. This is the end of his son. The Lord in heaven will disgrace him. The Lord will destroy him. This is the end of his time. This is the end of his manipulation. So I'm begging the Jews out there. I'm begging the Christian world and everybody to hear me. Let them fight against MOPO. It's a deception to the kingdom of God. No one can mock my God and go free. Moses C.K. Chuku, this is the end of your journey. The Lord will expose you. The Lord will destroy you. The Lord will prove to you that he is God. Why would he be killing people? He has killed and buried. Nobody asked. Why would you be killing people in the name of God of MOPO? There is nothing like God of MOPO. If you remember, I urge you today to run. Run for your dear life before he destroys you. Thank you, viewers. We are still on this topic. Well, viewers, as you can see, this is quite an explosive one, but rather interesting. Uh, we'll be right back. Do not go anywhere. Sister Helen. What is going on in this church is um, becoming of great concern to me. It should be to you people as well. The church has experienced and is still experiencing a serious mass exodus 
of people leaving the church. Though we all know the reason, the reason is not far fetched. Sister Helen. And that agent of the devil has not just stopped at taking people away from the church. She has continued to cast aspersions on me and the entire church, thereby bringing everybody and everything to the public ridicule. This has to stop. We have to do something about it. That is my worry. Because as we speak, I'm confused. Don't know what to, what to do again. I see all those fumas ready to make all the news. Oh boy, oh, I'm not going to feel me here. I'm not going to reason with me. I said, I'm going to ask you for this girl. If you mean, like, say, they can remain here on air and inside this ghetto. You know, be me, like, say, they can go anywhere. Even as they, they talk heaven, heaven. I know, believe, say, even for heaven, I feel get this enjoyment. What they get for this ghetto? <laughs> What's heaven? Bros, now you want to go stay for heaven, no? Oh? As for me, I, I would enjoy myself here for this ghetto. Heaven has come now, we're married. <laughs> but, it decreased. Now, what do you think? Say heaven has come. <laughs> you know, I will be here. 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 I want to get it out. my phone, I'm tired. We eat the crazy. This is what I don't know. 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 I
of success in your business. Give back to God. I said give back to God. And the Lord shall give back to you in multiple folds. The Bible says, Blessed are those that mourn for the sake of righteousness, for they shall inherit the kingdom of God. The Lord loves cheerful givers. He loves cheerful givers. It does not matter how much you give to God. I said it doesn't matter how much you give to the Lord. But simply put God to a test. And you will be glad. God bless you, sister. I said you will be glad. You would have a marvelous testimony of what God will do for you in return. God bless you. God bless you. You will be smiling by this time next week. God bless you. It does not matter how much you give to God. I said it doesn't matter. Put God to a test. And you would have a marvelous testimony of what God will do in your return. Oh, that is nothing too small for Jesus Christ. I said that is nothing. God loves cheerful givers. He loves cheerful givers. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said the Lord loves cheerful givers. When you give, you make way for success. That is the spirit of your business. Yes, the Lord loves cheerful givers. I said he loves cheerful givers. Oh, you will be smiling by this time next week. You will be smiling by this time next week. I said put God to a test. Put God to a test. God bless you, brother. God bless you. You will be smiling by this time next week. The Lord loves cheerful givers. He loves cheerful givers. And you shall have a marvelous testimony of what God shall give in return. God, so this is how simple it is to make money these days. Well, I must be a pastor at all costs, no matter what it takes. Make money and serve God still. But the problem is that I don't know the Bible for it. The Bible says, to church, Oh, God bless you. Learn some God bless you. And then go to Bible school. Start I love the mom for the sake of righteousness. For they shall inherit the kingdom of God. God bless you, brother. Oh. Genesis 1 verse 1 And he said He created the earth Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 And God created Then John John 10 27 know my people and my people knows my people know me they hear my voice and I call them by name John chapter 10 verse 27 I know my people they hear my voice and Genesis
My brothers and sisters, I brought to you this afternoon the good will of God, the message from the Holy Scripture. There is an account at Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. There says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The same Lord, the same God, who we saw, created Adam and Eve. He created Solomon. He created Abraham. He created Isaac. He created Jacob. And the same God has the power to recreate you. And I somebody shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Somebody shout a big Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Somebody shout a big Amen! Amen! That is God, and we believe in Him. But there is a basis for receiving that blessing from the Lord. We can only receive when we give out. It is a command. Give, give. The more you give, the more you receive. Somebody shout a big hallelujah! Hallelujah! This is the reason why you must open our hands and give an offering to the Lord. Give an offering to the Lord! Give an offering to the Lord! So that you can receive! Somebody can receive! Somebody is about to receive a blessing! Somebody is about to receive a miracle! Thank you, brothers! Remain blessed! Remain blessed, sister! Remain blessed, sister! Somebody is about to receive a miracle in his life! Somebody is about to receive a miracle in his life! Somebody is about to receive a miracle in his life! Hallelujah, somebody! Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah! Lord is good, Lord is good. Lord is good, Lord is good. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. You may bless. You may bless. You may bless in Jesus' name. You may bless. You may bless. We are more than conquerors in Christ. Vanity upon vanity. Vanity upon vanity. 
also failed myself because of my self-centeredness and my want to acquire worldly and material things. I have failed. I have deceived a lot of people, a whole lot of people. Let everybody that I have deceived forgive me. God forgive me. Come unto me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Save no harm. The Lord has sent me to save you and to tell you that He loves you and does not want you to perish in your iniquities. He has given you a second chance to establish His church with truth and sincerity. Give back to the devil whatever you have taken from him as a source of power and reconcile with sister. Go, go, go. of God. My Bible said in the book of First Timothy chapter 4 and I read verse 1 and 2. Now the Spirit speaketh as the Spirit of God speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from their faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and, and doctrines of the devil 
Verse 2 said, Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience sealed with hot iron. What this verse is trying to tell us is that we should be careful with the kind of people we mingle with. You should be careful with the kind of friends you mingle with. You should be careful of the places you go. Especially be careful of where you worship. Don't worship in a place where signs and wonders are fixed. Because that is what they are using in the latter days to deceive people. Don't worship in an area where they manipulate you spiritually without you knowing. Be careful of the likes of Prophet Moses E.K. Chiku of Mopol. If you are here, you've heard of Mopol Church. I am here to tell you that everything you have heard and seen in that church, they are all fake. Fake prophecy, fake miracle, fake doctrine. Do not go anywhere near that church called Bopol. Moses Ike Chuku is a demonic agent sent to destroy the lives of young ones like you. It's not your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. If anyone comes to preach to you about Bopol, run. Run for your dear life. Run far away and don't listen to them. They are all demons. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Many are the afflictions of the righteous but our Lord delivers them from all. You all have sinned and fall short of his glory. There is no need fighting Moses. You must forgive him and reconcile with him for the sake of your salvation and that of others. Together God will support your ministry and you will be a blessing to mankind. Moses is now a new person ordained by God for the purpose of the gospel. Go, reconcile, and be of one mind in Christ. Do not let the name of the Holy One be ridiculed through the boat of you. Go, go, go. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I was just going to commit suicide when the angel of the Lord appeared to me. Told me that I'd be given a second chance. That God has forgiven me. Sister Ellie, please. Please. That God has given me the chance to right my wrongs. Please. I make my ways right. Please forgive me. Did, did you say an angel appeared to you? Yes. The angel of the Lord appeared to me. God is wonderful. The same angel appeared to me. And God told me to reconcile with you that he has forgiven you and ordained you. I'm sorry. 
Oh, I've forgiven you. God, are you not awesome? Awesome, God. I shall serve you in truth till the end of time. Yes, I will. I will, God. Thank you for this second chance. Thank you, Lord. Robert, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay, get up. Get up. Uh, there's so much peace in the Lord. So much peace. Thank you, Jesus. There's so much peace. There's so much peace in you, God. My brothers and sisters, today is a very special day in our life. Today is a day I will forever remember in my life. The Bible tells us that the devil has only come to kill and destroy. The Bible also tells us or reminds us that it's out there in the streets, probably looking for who to devour. But we shall not give it the chance to do that. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in us. Today is a day of joy. Today is a day the Lord has chosen to make manifest himself in this ministry. This great ministry of God was in shock. The devil was going to tear this ministry of God. God gave us the strength to say to the devil,
you will continue to do that in Jesus' name. To my right is Chief Esoye. A man God used the ministry to propagate his word. He came without looking back. He donated. He gave no more when the church the ministry did not ask. He did a whole lot. The devil came in between us. But our God of second chance gave us the strength to tell the devil flee. Because of him, you welcome back to God's house. Yo te quiero. 